We want to take a few minutes to talk again about the presidential race. And, you know, we've got a template here. We all know what's going to happen, right? It's happened before, right? We've got a Democrat, a Republican. Oh, wait, we have, we don't have the president. We had the president running four months ago. We don't have him anymore. And we've got a former president who's been indicted and convicted of felonies. And we've got the vice president. Is have you ever experienced anything like this politically? In your life? A couple of assassination attempts thrown in there. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's been a, it's been a really really strange. And uh, so, that, with that in mind, what mm -hmm. guideposts can we have to to get an idea of what's going to happen in about ten days? Well, while this is probably one of the wackiest presidential elections I've ever seen, especially with the the tie today, one point up today, another point up tomorrow. Um, I think that what it's going to come down to is that that very thin margin of two to four percent of voters, those independent voters, making the difference. And unfortunately, even when you narrow it down to that, it's still an issue like morals versus immigration, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, the economy is always supposed to be in there, but this year you can't really put your finger on it because most people don't realize that the economy is better than it was four years ago, but they don't fill it in their pockets. So that's been a real difficult, on our side, that's been a real or, difficult or, thing. Or at the grocery store. I mean, I'd say still people are going out there and they're paying a lot more than they did four years ago. Uh, they see that and that's palpable, right? Uh, and I also think this, look, you know, what you're going to see from, you know, a, a national sort of perspective is you've got uh, a candidate, again, that has been on the ballot for 90 days, wasn't elected, had to go out there and get delegates, certainly understand that. Um, but that, that not comes enough down Americans. To be careful what you ask for, because right, before she became a candidate, the other candidate was out there saying, oh, this guy's crazy, he's sick, he's too old. So we put a fresh new horse in the race, well, and say, she's doing a darn I, good job. I like the fresh new horse, <laughs> because she has a record. I mean, she was the last person in the room that, that President Biden says uh, was, was sort of the advice that he received on a lot of the issues. I mean, Afghanistan was a big one. We talk about the Inflation Reduction Act. We've seen inflation continue to hover around. Um, yes, things may be trending in the right direction, but we're, people are still going to the grocery store. They're buying things that are way more expensive now than they were. And here's the other thing too. We're on the no, verge of a potential World War III, and we need somebody who will have their finger on the pulse that's rational, that's not unhinged, that well, America we, can depend on. Who also has the record, all this happened under her watch as well. I think that's important to, to speak about. And she's flip-flopped on a lot of big issues from you know uh, the economy to universal health care to obviously fracking. So what are you going to get with Kamala? I think people have a lot of questions.